Hi, I'm Josh Bergstrom, manager of the video department here at Pure Life Ministries. We are excited to share with you everything that the Lord has been doing over the past several months. In our last ministry update video and newsletter, we revealed that Steve Gallagher, the founder of Pure Life Ministries, had written a new book, Walking in Truth in a World of Lies, which would be available this summer. We are pleased to announce that this timely resource is now available. If you've paid attention at all to the news headlines, surely you've noticed we are experiencing an all-out assault on truth. Is it possible that we are witnessing what the prophet Amos foretold? He proclaimed to Israel, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord God, when I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. They shall wander from sea to sea and from north to east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, but they shall not find it. We may sense that our culture is lying to us, but are we aware that these deceptions are poisoning the very spiritual air we breathe? This book was written from a passionate desire to see the church walk in truth to the very end and will show you how to navigate safely through the treacherous waters of deception in these perilous times. Because we believe this latest release is desperately needed in the church today, we filmed a series of free videos to give you a fuller comprehension of some of the book's most important themes. This new series, World of Lies, is available on our YouTube channel, smartphone app, and at aworldoflies.com. To purchase Walking in Truth in a World of Lies, please visit store.purelifeministries.org. Now, for another update, here's the editor of Purity for Life, Patrick Hudson. Thanks, Josh. I'm really excited to announce there is a new Starbucks in Dry Ridge. What? Oh, Purity for Life? That's going okay. We're excited to announce that Purity for Life is now airing several times a week on First Love Radio, an online radio station. You can check out this wonderful resource at firstloveradio.org. First Love's ministry strives to stir hearts afresh for God by encouraging Christians to return to their first love. They air content that exalts Jesus, edifies the saints, and evangelizes the lost. We also want to make you aware that we're currently airing a 10-part podcast series based on walking in truth in a world of lies. The content is similar to what you'll find on our World of Lies YouTube series. We recommend you listen to this 10-part series as you read through the book. You can access the series on our website, purelifeministries.org podcast, or on First Love Radio, or wherever you get your podcasts. Be sure to look for episode number 397, World of Lies, A Concealed Threat. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to check out our weekly podcast and take advantage of this valuable resource. For another exciting announcement, let's hand it over to one of our residential counselors, Jeremiah Aiken. Hey, Jeremiah here. I hope you're enjoying hearing about some of the wonderful things God has been doing through this ministry. In the last year or so, the Lord has been raising up new counselors in our midst, which has led to a need for more office space on our residential campus. Back in July, our maintenance staff began a project to add five new offices to accommodate this growing need. We've developed a two-part plan for this project and hope to have phase one completed by the end of the year. The first phase will consist of the foundation, the shell of the building, and the HVAC system. In phase two, which we hope to start at the beginning of the new year, we will finish out the interior of the offices. I should also mention that many of our administrative staff have started working towards their biblical counseling certification, so they can also counsel individuals in the Overcomers at Home program. As a growing number of individuals reach out to us for help, this will meet a tremendous need and serve to ease the burden of our full-time counselors. Since becoming a residential counselor several years ago, I can honestly say the hearts of those coming into our counseling programs are harder than ever. We greatly covet your prayers. Now to wrap things up, here's another one of our biblical counselors, Gabriel Gonzalez. Thank you, Jeremiah. Well, 
as you can see, things haven't slowed down for us much around here. We are extremely grateful that we've been able to continue serving the Lord and His people in these trying times. Last month, our residential students heard a series of powerful messages from Pure Life graduate Dustin Renz, founder and president of Make Way Ministries and recent speaker at our As in the Days of Noah livestream series. He delivered several convicting talks through his book, Pile of Masks, in which he exposes the problem of hypocrisy in the church. To open the sessions, Dustin shared that during his time at Pure Life Ministries, the Lord mercifully revealed how he had allowed little compromises to creep in here and there before his entire life had become riddled with hypocrisy. This began a much needed process of deep repentance and brokenness for him. A few years after graduating the residential program, the Lord laid it on Dustin's heart to begin writing about hypocrisy. And not too long after that, it developed into the book, Pile of Masks. In his book, he shares how the Lord broke the chains of hypocrisy in his own heart, restored his marriage and ministry, and brought him into an authentic life in Christ. You can find Dustin's book and accompanying study guide at makewayministries.com. In one of the sessions, he explained how the Old Testament Israelites exhibited hypocrisy in a variety of ways and that in the church today, we really aren't any different. In fact, he pointed out that in many ways, it is harder to detect hypocrisy among Christians today because most of our idols are kept hidden deep in the recesses of our hearts where only God can see. He encouraged the men to ask the Lord to search their hearts and expose any areas of hypocrisy in their lives that needed to be dealt with. And it was a blessing to hear the truth of God's Word spoken with conviction and clarity and to see His heart for us when we allow Him to search us and lead us to repentance over our sin. He is a gracious God, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. I'll wrap up by reminding all of us that the tremendous turmoil and chaos we are witnessing in our country is exactly what the Bible warned us would come. With this increase of lawlessness, the need to reach those in sexual sin has never been greater. We are so grateful for your partnership and faithful support to this ministry. Thank you for listening to this latest update. We hope and pray God will continue to keep you, protect you, and supply all of your needs in Christ Jesus. Give me the Starbucks! Oh.